Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to explore the Sheridan House, the Sheridan House Museum, which is owned by the Winchester Historical Society. It's in Ashlaw, New Hampshire, or as some people say, Winchester, but Ashlaw. Um, it is the home that is once owned by Hugh Sheridan, who was the owner of the Ashlaw Manufacturing Company that used to sit right across the river from here, which I will show you the um, location where that once sat after. Um, the house, it says, there's a record of the house standing here as early as 1864. This part of, uh, configuration of the house was done around 1900 though by Hugh Sheridan um, and his family when he came to town and bought the Ashlot Manufacturing Company. So we are going to go inside and meet with Curator Jen to get a tour of the place. I hope you enjoy the video. If you like what you see, please like and share and subscribe because I do new things all the time. Sorry, someone is mowing the lawn right behind me. Um, I knew new videos constantly, uh, mostly historical. So. <laughs> um, follow along, see what you find. You might find something you like. Oh, 18. Somewhere between 1850 and 1870. The detailing in it is beautiful. Oh, it's a cat. <laughs> the Sheridans themselves, uh, they bought the house in 1900 when Hugh Sheridan bought the mill yard, uh, Ishwalis, uh Manufacturing Company, which is no longer here. Um, so is that the one by the waterfall that is semi-torn down? No. Those were paper companies. Okay. Fairly short. Um, this one, if you go across the covered bridge and look on your, basically to the left. Okay, where the wheel. The whole street they that put you there. can see was actually part of the wind, of the uh, Ishwala Manufacturing Company. Wow. So there was housing, there was stores, and then there was also um, the actual mill. Yeah, we moved here in 2017. That's so I've been too. slowly... <laughs> The so, condition of this. So I do love starting off in here because some of uh, some of the earliest manufacturing in town was, you know, there was some iron ore, there was some timber, all that fun stuff. Most people were farmers, and I still have this wrapped up, but. One of the early factories here because they realized that um, the Ishwilla River has some bends, then it runs straight, so it goes very fast. So it's good for water wheels. Mm -hmm. One of the early companies was the Graves and Company Musical Instruments. And I had brought this over to the library earlier. This oh my. is the clarinet. made by Graves and Company. Goodness. So this would have been 1830 to 1850. Wow. Made in Winchester. With Some good handmade stuff. Oh no, this was actually made by machine. Really? Indeed. So there was actually a clarinet company. They started with clarinets and woodwinds, moved their way into brass. Okay. Mainly, at the time they started, there was a big tariff on English musical instruments. So with that said, it was just cheaper to make them here. So they started making musical instruments here. Oh, <laughs> she's so silly. Can you keep them there? <laughs> we'll put you on here. Hello, Ellie. Goodbye. Okay, bye. Yeah, she'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> if you've been out to Brattleboro, you've heard of the mm -hmm. besties. This is our organ. 
this part of the organ. Really. This part of the organ is actually finished on all four sides. So you could you could put it in the middle of the room. Whoever's playing you could be in the middle of things, and people would have a nice view all the way around. Okay. That's really cool. Yeah. It's crazy to see how things used to be made. And then that clock there, entirely made of wood. Even the inside? Gears and everything. Wow. I think like the glass that you see around the front, that's the only other material. Huh. That's really cool. Yeah. I like it. That's really cool. Cool. <laughs> I could spend hours in places like this. Oh, absolutely. And that's the other fun thing is that we are open, you know, on the weekends. So just come on in. I saw that online. I used to sell Avon. You did? Oh my god. <laughs> I was like, no way. That's just weird. <laughs> yeah, we have we have the first Avon lady. We have a whole room from her upstairs. <laughs> so you found a soda as old as you? Yeah. <laughs> 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 It's only because everyone ignores it. It's a very boring soda. It looks like orange soda. It is. Orange yes. soda is amazing. No, it's well, colors, just like Keen, they were orange and black. <laughs> Except they were for Tiger Lily. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can I touch this? Yes. <laughs> I'm one of those people, I touch everything, and then it's like, oh, <laughs> crap, I shouldn't. Maybe I should ask. Uh, yeah, I think most stuff I have locked up. Maybe people touch it. Maybe oh, wow. Yeah, the more dangerous stuff is over in the pharmacy cabinet. Oop. make houses like they used to. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I saw something blur by the window so fast. It was Ellie. <laughs> I was like, no. what was that? <laughs> Don't forget, she's fast. She's got a little energy. Can I touch the hand? Really yes. Fast. Yes. Ooh, that's nice. That actually came from Winchester as well. Ooh. And it, if it's anything like what I read about those jackets up there, it's real. Real yeah. fur? That's real. Absolutely. Are those the mink ones that... Uh, mink is actually up in the mink. closet, okay. upstairs. Uh, these are shearling wool. Um, so, yeah, they would have come from their real leather and wool on the inside. I need a mirror like that. In addition to the shearling hat. Like. Um, well, she does have some <laughs> sisters down in, in uh, one of the Newport mansions. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And then this is. Oh, yeah. These are some of our Avon Mrs. Aldi statues. When did Avon use the Oh, God. 1896. Jesus. Long, long, long time ago. California Perfume Company started in 1896. Uh, they changed their name to Avon 1939. The covered bridge we crossed to get here. Oh. Yeah, I don't remember that. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, I, <clears throat> I did not really get into history until I had a professor who was, um, this would be your Ashwillet Manufacturing Company. Oh, okay. So if you look over here, those are drying racks for the wool. So there's our covered bridge. That would be the Thayer Library. Ugh, if I was tall enough. <laughs> <laughs> Story Sheridan, of my life. Yeah, Sheridan House is over here. Okay. It's a bird's eye up from the cemetery. If you go up that little hill, there's a little cemetery right up there. Is Julia Thayer in Evergreen or is she up here? Oh, oh, that's right. Teeny okay. little aspirin. Gotcha. Watch your step. Always let's forget the step. If it wasn't you, it would have been me. No, in the picture. <laughs> oh, you gotta include the fire dog. Yes. Oh, there's another floor too. No. Oh, it's the roof. It is, but yes. Well, I mean, there's a third story upstairs. Right now, we've closed it off to kind of insulate the house a little bit. A little afraid about uh, what's gonna happen when we open it up. <laughs> gun club, shoot and bake. 1931. Jeez. Yeah, I'm over here panting. <laughs> it's like, oh, stairs. Oh, that's pretty. Someone handmade that. Oh, Dorothy. Dorothy handmade that. Hello. I feel like tall for when it's next to these railings. I know. <laughs> but I'm going to fall off. Uh, Granite Lake Studio Keen. <laughs> is it L or Ellie? Ellie. Ellie? So we will, we will get the greatest welcome when we go back. To the <laughs> Ellie. <laughs> Ellie. She's <laughs> yeah, I think I think her house doesn't have stairs as much. Oh, that's pretty. I like that one. Ooh. And this is our ornate <laughs> inlay floor. That is beautiful, too. I want floors like this. So this one, we set it up kind of like it would be uh, Hugh's study. Okay. So we know that they put the fireplace in as well as the floor. Here are oh, our hosts. Here's Mary and Hugh. Oh, they set it up lovely. They did good. I'd visit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the top hat. You can't forget Ooh, the sophisticated yes. top hat. See, it's these little signs right here that I'm looking for. It's like, don't touch that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are these like the original hats too? Or? Um, we don't actually have very much that's actually from them. Um, I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. A lot of the stuff that we do have here came from uh, Edith Atkins' collection. She used to, she was the founder of the Winchester Historical Society. Oh, okay. Also used to be the oh, librarian of the Conant. And she was pretty much the town historian uh -huh. up through about 2003, I think is when she passed. Gotta but, love personal collectors. Oh, yeah. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have so much. Oh, yeah, exactly. Huge pack rats. <laughs> oh. One of the ones that we do know oh. is... One of the missing bridges. I love the covered bridges. I've been trying to see them all. And uh, th that's one of the ones that I was looking at. 
the Melvin that doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, I'm not 100% positive where the Melvin one was. I am. <laughs> it was covered bridge number three. Um, if you go down by the town lake, mm -hmm. there's Melvin Road right across, and it was at the end. Oh. Okay. Took me forever uh, to figure that out. That's right. Then I did know who that one was. <laughs> oh, uh, that one here. I think that's still an unsolved arson. I don't think. So the one that we do have from the Sheridans is the tilting pitcher over here. Um, tilting pitcher, that one was obviously used and loved a lot <laughs> over the years really cool. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say, it kind of looks like teddy bears. It kind of actually does. <laughs> <laughs> Just going crazy. <laughs> Room. Yeah. So we've got the tannery. We have uh, Lumen Nelson, who is a fantastic um, taxidermist. Oh, my. If you were able to get to the um, Southern Vermont uh, Na Nature Museum? Yeah, Vins. Yes. Is that the one? Yeah. Uh, the one on Hogback Mountain? At the top of the mountain? I don't know. <laughs> so um, they've closed um, the part of their museum that had his collection in it. Oh, okay. but holy cow, he had a huge collection. And then AC Lawrence Leather Tannery. Those are the folks who made the Shirley hats and all sorts of other stuff. Oh, reminds me of my room growing up. I had airplanes hanging everywhere. Airplanes I was obsessed with the Blue Angels. Nice. <laughs> and my husband served in the Air Force. Not the Blue Angels. Mine was the Navy. They're Navy anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the mink is actually in that closet. Oh. The what? The mink coat. Oh, there's coats that are oh. made out of real mink. Can we look at that one? Yes, please. It's a little sticky, but that's okay. But the question is, can you open the door? <laughs> no, I'm scared to pull it. Just pull. Oh. Yank. Yeah, just give it, give it time. No, I'm it's just like, it it's an old house. I know, but like, it's like the way it's sticky, it's like I'm scared to pull it. Right. Understood. Mm -hmm. So the mink is right around the corner. Along with some of the purity oh my. here. Dead animal. But also, like, the amount of layers that you had to wear, too. Like, the shorts and, like, the pants and skirts and the underskirt things. Oh, oh look God. at the teeny little baby dolls. And at the time that you are wearing all of those layers, as I was looking into heating and cooling Ooh, down. An old hoop skirt. Summer. Um, yeah. One of the history books pointed out that in the 1920s, they chop down all the trees around here to make way for farms. So yeah. it was still Gross. more farmland than Didn't have any forest. Shade either. So yeah, it was more of a heat desert out here. Oh jeez. Like, oh my god. And we still didn't have like were these the jackets they were wearing then too? That's not, real. Or, um, not in the summer. These are like winter jackets. Yes. Well yeah, you wouldn't wear something that thick. Although, I mean, you wear all these layers. Not in the winter, but yeah, the layers. Well, there was one. Are you guys familiar with Madame Sherry? Mm hmm. Have you heard the story that during the summer she would go out and about in her mink and nothing else? Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she is a character I would have loved to oh meet. Oh my gosh. I would there have loved so... to meet her. Is there a light to. When you close it, it will actually okay. turn the light off. 
and that's pretty neat. Okay, it is. It's like a fridge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have been, I want to do a video on Madame Cherie, and I've been trying to find all the stuff about her, but the only thing I can't find is I know the cemetery she was buried in, but I can't find her stone. You've used Find a Grave? Uh-huh. And it tells me the cemetery, but it won't tell me, like... Oh, it doesn't have the GPS? No. Page. Which is a real pain. <laughs> like, I found everything else. Yes. Oh, my God. Uh, I can tell you. My, first, I don't know what it is with my family, but for some reason, they're anti-headstones. As in, like, I looked at my family cemetery, like, the whole place, found aunts, uncles, cousins, what everybody else, because my grandparents had just flat murders. And I was like... Yeah, yeah that's I what mean, hers is. I mean, it's a flat one. Dang. And that's oh, why I can't find it. Nauseous. <laughs> <sighs> it's a pain. One day. We do have a little research room, so if you are interested in coming in and doing any research. Oh, yes. Um, I do say we do have all of our, you know, town meeting books far back as, you know, we can find them. They're all at UNH, though. They just okay. came in, which is fantastic. Um, here in Winchester, we've had a bunch of religious folks. So uh, we have Schofield over here, Dr. Schofield, who wrote the first uh, reference Bible for folks to, you know, study with. So the first one that had like the footnotes at the bottom and everything explanation wise. Oh, nice. He's the first one who set that up. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Learn something new every day. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. And, oh my gosh, baseball in Winchester <laughs> was crazy, crazy popular. There were four, um, four or five yeah. fields in Winchester that they played on, oh, including, including one in Warwick, because you couldn't play baseball here on Sunday. Hmm. So they'd just go to Massachusetts. Was it like sacrilegious or? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> My inner child's coming out. So <laughs> oh, I kind of like the way like, you kind of like step down to this room. So we do know that I believe. Oh, it's the game old ladies' room. It is. <laughs> the this side Ooh. of the house was the original. This back part was added by the Sheridans. So this was the servant's room. Oh. Um, no, so there you go. Uh, kids would have slept in here, although most of their kids were grown. Sorry, the four kids were grown by the time they came here. But the grandkids would have come over and this probably would have been their bedroom. Are we allowed to go down here? Please do. Just do watch your step. I like, so for some reason, I find serving staircases mm. so fascinating. Did you yeah, see the old ice skates, Anna? Down to uh, the kitchen and the water. Do you know what? Like, did you know that like they're so skinny, like you can die? Like... <sighs> <laughs> Maybe not like getting on know that, but like, you know. <laughs> She hears you. I can hear her now. Yep. <laughs> well, where so, else would she be? <laughs> this is our room for Mrs. Aldi. Um, these here are the oh, Avon presidents. She's fancy. Well, well, <laughs> that's Avon's interpretation of yes. her. Um, yes, okay. <laughs> um, this is the only picture we've had of her from about 1890s. She's beautiful. Um, but... Part of her deal, um, when she got her representatives together, when she was training people to go out and do sales, 
I've done a lot of customer service work. I've gone through like every customer service training. She's the one who literally wrote the book that has all of, you know, those rules. So like when you go to visit somebody, you know, make sure you put your bag down before you start talking to them because now you've established yourself here. <laughs> you know, when you're trying to sell people things, look nice and charming. Actually, I have all three of these. <laughs> oh, who's this one signed by? Lisa Wilbur. Nice. She is Isn't she the top? She is the top for New Hampshire. And she is one of the people who made this run possible here. Really? Yes. Interesting. And the Albee House is still standing. If you go down to downtown Winchester, you know, the little metal bridge on Elm Street. Just goes right across the river. Okay. Uh, Let's go look at that. Yeah. It's on the right, right after the bridge. We could stop there after. You this love really servants' good. quarter stairs? The stairs fascinate me for some reason, okay? Don't judge me. <laughs> Too late. You're my kid. I have to. I like that. Um, yeah. Another founder, God Do Little. I think it was her grandmother. Did you tap? Did you do the taps? Hello. Did you get the Hi. <laughs> awesome. So this is our laundry room. Still a little in progress, but that's what's in here. No, you shouldn't. A bathroom. No, 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 no. This is the fridge. No. What? Yes. Okay, so, I've heard about them, but I've never seen one. It's a fridge. It is a fridge. Is it a walk in fridge? It is a walk in icebox. Okay. Nice. So. If you'd like to take a look outside at the back of the house, you can actually see the ice door. It's really up on the top of the house. Not at the top of the house, but that's so cool. About halfway up. It's a little musty in there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is this is where the ice would go, right up here. Uh, there's like an open area in the back, so like the air would filter down. And like even if you just go in here today, I mean, it yeah, feels cooler. cooler in there. Than it does out here. That's really cool. What's yeah. this? Butter churn. This is a butter churn and a baby rocker. Butter okay. Rocker. So right. two in one. Exactly. You never have. To Why not? With just one thing. You know they really do that a lot in like the old days. You got like all these things. Like you got that seven in one shampoo, but <laughs> actually useful. <laughs> you wanna check out the rocker? You wanna be the baby? You're smart enough to fit in it. No. She's like, I am the baby, but no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's not knock that over. Hi, Oh, there's Oh, there's a nest. I just ignore you, right? You have to get love from somebody There's else. a little bird's nest right there. <gasps> ignore the spider. Oh, that is a big spider. Let's I leave. See the bird's nest. He likes the bird's nest, nest is in the window. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you could stir food with us? Sure, yeah. I'd be like, yep. stir is it big pot. enough to... Stir in that pot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and then, of course, the lovely Victorian. Oh, is it old high chair, too? Yes. Oh, there's not many babies today that would fit in that. <laughs> <laughs> I had a preemie, and I'm like really skewed on like, my. How baby should be. <laughs> my son was a preemie. She was a couple weeks early, but not too bad size wise. Look at me now. Oh my gosh. My foot would fit there. My right. sister just had a baby. Four pounds. He oh came goodness. like four weeks early. Wow. Yeah. Tiny little guy. Yeah, mine was three five. Oh, oh wow. It's two months. Oh. Everything good? 
He's turning 21 this year. Awesome. I'm He's starting hot. 22. <laughs> we went through it basically at the same time. Yeah. Oh my God, were you <laughs> Um, this is amazing. To my, yeah, my husband's, uh, my husband's son was almost 13 pounds. Yikes. Oh. I'm like, I'm glad I didn't have any of your babies. That's gonna hurt. Uh, I feel the pain just thinking about it. <laughs> yes, you're good. I wish they still did this, like, as an everyday yeah. thing for the ceiling. You know, actually, what's cool, not cool, I don't know, um, I don't know yet, but they, in manufacturing, folks have gotten um, a lot better at creating stick-on tiles. Yes. So, I think, like, I love your tail fluff. ornate ceilings are coming back a little bit. A lot yeah, of things are. I, yes. Well, yes. That I would say yes. thousand percent. <laughs> <laughs> it's like part right. of me is like when we, when we build our house in the future, I want to do like a Victorian style. Like I love Victorian style houses. Mm. Like the Victorian style houses are like the ones that you can like put like the little cushions on. Yes. Sooner or later, um, there will be tigers hiding around here. Oh. Ooh, I'm going to hide some tigers. Oh, to make things a little bit more interesting. No, okay. There is a light, but I can't. <gasps> it's right here. Tiger firehouse. Huh? Oh, exactly. ha, ha. I found it. Have you, ever, <laughs> have you ever been to the Edward Gorey house? No. Is that the one that's like the Edward Gorey house? Oh, where is it? Where is it? Okay, so it's in Cape Cod. Okay. Um, it's right there. Oh, yeah. 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 Our first time, and it was like, oh, this there's is so nice. many beautiful nice things. As we were leaving, the um, the docent there asked, "Did you guys get to do the scavenger hunt?" And we're like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> the Gashley Crumb Tinies. Oh. oh, are you talking about that house that like the has a lighthouse on the property? I don't think he has a lighthouse, oh. but um, yeah, all Ooh. of the oh, I like that. Gashley Crumb Tinies are hiding around the house. Oh my gosh. We just recently went to Cape Cod last year. We went to this house. It was, it was on a golf course. Um, but there's an old house and there's like a white house in it. It might have been. I'm not sure. But it's, it's pretty close to the end of Cape Cod. Yes. But oh my, it was so much fun. Picture right over that. Uh, ice house was. wagon would pull up, somebody would stand on top oh. of the wagon, oh, shut so the cool. ice cakes in. That's nuts. Also, like, there are big ice bricks, right? Yeah. That's a hefty amount of height. Yeah, that's why you to... get to stand on top of the ice as you're chucking. Makes <laughs> sense. <laughs> Look at the porch. Yeah, like that wraparound porch. And they even painted it blue. So I heard that they used to paint the roofs blue like this, so when spirits died, they would think it's the sky and leave and not get trapped. Yeah. My garden. Look at this. That's There's so much shade right here. Yeah. Like, I have tiny hands, but still, that is a huge leaf. Part of me wants like the old Watch out for the hole. And then a ramp over here for... Had I known that, I probably would have taken that. My leg is not liking the stairs today. And the covered bridge we crossed to get here. This was a beautiful experience. If you're in the area, you should definitely come out and check it out.
this location right over here, it's just an empty plot now. Um, this is where the former Ashlot Manufacturing Company used to sit that Hugh Sheridan had owned. But there's nothing left. When I first moved here, there was um, a little bit of the building left, but they tore that down a few years back. This is where Mrs. Elby used to live, the founding lady of Avon.